Do you love playing Southwest Florida? Do you love modifying your car, building your cars, but your fitment looks like this? I know there's somebody out there watching this video where your fitment looks like this. Or you know what? It might not even look like that. It may even look like this. You don't want your fitment looking like this. Or even this. You don't want your fitment to look like that. And if this is you, if your fitment looks somewhat close to these three things that I just showed you, then I highly recommend you to watch this video because I see too many of you guys out there with your fitment that looks like this. Like, really? Like, come on. You, you, you drive around looking like this. If you drive around looking like this, like, I, I, how do you do it? You know, you got to get your fitment looking good so you can have a good car so you can feel good. You know what I mean? And if you have fitment that looks like this, you guys got to stay tuned and watch this video because in this video, I show you guys how to get the perfect and most money fitment. And if you just follow the steps and tips and tricks that I show you in this video, then by the end of this video, you will be able to perfect your fitment and have a good looking car compared to the other people who don't watch this entire video. <laughs> so with that being said, dude, what is good everybody guys? Come in here and today I'm going to show you guys how to perfect and get the most money fitment that you guys can possibly get in Southwest Florida. I'm showing you how to do different types of fitments and um all of that jazz so please watch the whole video in order to get all of the good old tips and tricks that you guys need to get perfect fitment before we get into that dude if you guys are not watching this video or you guys are all watching this video but if you were watching this video you are not subscribed to the channel dude i highly recommend you hit that sub button dude we're super close to 300,000 subscribers dude i'm trying to hit 300,000 subscribers as soon as possible i wanted to hit it before 2024 but i don't think that's going to be happening because 2024 is less than a month away we're about 10,000 subscribers away, so I don't think we're going to hit that, but we're going to hit 300,000 very soon into 2024, which still counts and is still really, really good. So if you guys could subscribe to the channel, like the video as well, helps get the video out there, and use star code CON when buying Rogues or Overwatch Premium, boys. Really appreciate every single one of you that use star code CON, but without further ado, let's head right into this video show you guys how to get perfect fitment. Let's go. All right, so first things first, uh, usually what I do sometimes is I will lower the car first so I can get a better visual on uh how i want or what the wheels are going to look like and stuff like that so i usually lower it first yeah 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 i spent a thousand dollars if you don't want to do that you don't have to but that's usually what i do just so i can get a better visual on how the wheels will look on the car so the the uh categories with stretched tires uh, as you guys can see look at the edge of the tires it's kind of poke the so that is what stretched tires the, the the tire of the wheel is stretched onto the wheel or the tire <clears throat> let me repeat myself the tire is stretched onto the wheel so it's like stretch it's got a little bit of a a little bit of an angle here. Let me go normal tires. You can see how it goes out like that. You guys can see that this is stretched, or this is not really stretched, that's stock. This is stance, uh, stretched, and then this is normal. So with the stretched tires, you have the uh, better capabilities of getting better fitment. So all stance wheels and all VIP wheels have stretched tires. So if you guys are wanting to achieve good fitment, that juicy, absolutely money fitment, then VIP and stretched, uh, VIP and stance wheels is where it's at. I'm just gonna throw these rats on, call it a day. So. Usually what I, what, I, what I like to do with uh, stance cars is I like to get the most lip on the wheel possible. The lip is this uh, this little white part right here. This is the face of the wheel. This is the lip. And usually with wheel width, if I extend it out, we get a lot more lip. So usually what I have to do is extend the wheel width out a ton, as max as it can go. And then I adjust the offset and uh, bring that in until, uh, until where I like it. Uh, but here's the thing. We want to get some money fender to lip fitment on this car. So... Uh, the back is a little low, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit. The front as well. I'm going to raise the front. Alright, that's pretty good. I think this thing has a little rake to it. The rear fender arch is a little bit lower, I think. That's pretty perfect right there. We're not really clipping. This is what clipping is, if you guys don't know. is It goes through the fender right there. Do you see this? It goes through the fender of the car. This is what you don't want to see. Some people think they have good fitment like this, but no, no, no. You do not want that. So you want to bring it in. See, it's kind of hard to tell, but you want to bring it in until you don't see anything. See, there's nothing there, and it's, like, perfectly lined up. Yep, right there, that's what you don't want. That's perfect, right there. That is how you get that good fender to lip fit. Now, I do want to add some tilt, so we'll do a slight bit of camber. Not too much. I'm not a big fan of huge, huge camber. Just a slight bit. And that will lower the car a little bit, so you might have to raise it up uh, if you still want fender to lip fitment. Yep, see, we're clipping a little bit right there. That is what you don't want to see. Just bring it in like a hair, and it's still perfect. Look at that. So front has a little bit of tilt as well, so we will see what we got here. That's as best as she'll get. It looks like the uh, fender. That's as best as she'll get because the fender kind of goes in, and it curves in. You can kind of tell, which kind of sucks. Now, some cars you are not able to get low um, with the fenders because it, like the when you go low, it clips through the top part, which kind of sucks. Uh, but there isn't really much you can do about that. You just have to kind of figure it out and deal with it. 
as it goes. But there we go, dude. That's how you get some good old perfect fitment on stance wheels uh, with stretch tires and stuff like that. So I'll go out and give a better look. This thing still looks a little... I think it's raked a little bit. It is definitely raked a little. It's kind of nose diving like slightly, unless I'm just tweaking. I don't know. I'll bring it out in the sun for you guys to look. I'll go in cinematic mode. So here we go. Check this out. All right, look, 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 look. Look at that. Absolutely money fitment, dude. The lip of the wheel is just poking out a little bit. You should get the tire right under the fender here. Literally perfect fitment. If you have perfect fitment, it makes your car look that much better. Now, the front is a little stinky, but we did as best as we could get with this car. Um, with how the fender is and stuff like that. This thing is looking pretty good. It's not looking too bad. So that is how you get the good old stanced fitment on this car. That's fender to lip. Now, if you want to tuck, that's pretty easy. You don't have to adjust your fitment that much. You just literally dump the car on the floor and uh, call it a day. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to tuck this thing. So as you can see, the car is not really that low. It's max. Next max with... So as you can see, the car is not that low. We have max the pre-comp, which is what you want to adjust first. Uh, the next thing you want to adjust after that is the comp limit. So as you can see, when I just the comp limit, it lowers the car a lot more. So that's pretty even right there. Car's not really raked. The front might be a little bit lower. Yeah, there we go. Some cars have uh, wheel launches that the rear is lower. Um, you kind of just tell by looking at the side. If you have the fitment even, uh, like the same like fender lip fitment like I just had in the front, you could kind of tell that the car was raked. Uh, for, it was kind of nose diving slightly. I don't know if that's just me, but I can know I tend to notice those type of things. So. This is usually the fitment I go for. This is what I personally like uh, the best. It's just absolutely tucked, just dumped on the floor. It looks so fire. Now, this is also what we don't want right here. You see this? Clipping right in the front bumper right here. So, we'll bring that in. There we go. So, in order to find out if you're clipping, you literally just bring out the rear and see where it's clipping and then bring it in until it is not. And that is where you can get your maximum fitment. So, also clipping on the tires right there. So, uh, we will... Uh, fitment looks a little bit even. So, we'll bring the front a little bit. There we go. So, that's as best as we're going to get with this car. Kind of sucks. The fitment's kind of stinky, but it works. So this is usually the fitment I like to go for. This is tucked fitment. It's fire. I usually like to do this on most of my cars. As you guys can saw, like my... Uh, most of my cars have this type of fitment. Now, there are some other type of cars that I've built. Like, I have a bunch of drift cars, like my Z, I'm pretty sure. This thing. Yeah, it's got, like, drift fitment where the... Uh, fitment is still money. Like, look at that fitment. Absolutely money and perfect. But we have a lot more camber in the front than the back because... Uh, I'm, I'm having, like, a makeshift angle kit, I guess. I don't really have an angle kit on this car, but you can't really put angle kits on this car. Well, I guess you've, if you just the steering enough. But now, next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is the track fitting with the track wheels that don't have stretch tires. The street wheels, the track wheels. Now, I have a good example for this. this is my S15 uh, with the, I think it's just the Garage Mac kit. So, I'll show you guys this. Now, this kit kind of sucks. As you guys can see, my fitment is not that great, but that is not my fault. Um, I cannot achieve, like, the greatest fitment on this car, but that's as best as I could get it. Because some cars have... Crappy fitment, it just absolutely sucks. Like, I'll show you guys. Like, it clips through really, really early, which is really annoying uh, to get. I know one of the 180SX kits actually has this, so. Kind of sucks, but it really, it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. So, as you can see, look at the back. See? It starts clipping right as I go in, so that is on the side right there. But I'm going to be pulling out the RX-8 and showing you guys the uh, good old fitment on this car. All right. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of a track fitment on this. So, I'm going to get, like, silver and then do some, like, bronze wheels or something like that. So, uh, with the wheels that you guys want to go for for this fitment, it's like a track car type thing. You want either track or street. Uh, because... This thing sounds good. I hear a little... Rab, 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 rab. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, street does not have stretch tires. You just want that meaty setup for, uh, for track racing, uh, obviously. So, as you guys can see, look at the tires right there. It's perfect. And then I switch to the same wheel in stance, and now I have the stretch tires. So, you guys can clearly tell... Uh, the difference in tires here, so I'm gonna just throw these on these are I'm pretty sure these are RG3s now These wheels do look a bit big so thank goodness we have wheel sizing now actually so we can also adjust that So yeah, these wheels look gigantic So we're gonna adjust the wheel size now the wheel size is kind of weird It's in one increment so you just kind of want to go down until it looks natural and then you match it unless you want a staggered uh... oh. Unless you want a staggered type of fitment, but that looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty pretty good so with this, I usually don't like to do all of the wheel width because there's no lip and there's no point to do that. So I usually like to do a staggered fitment just like they do, just kind of like it is in real life, like a little staggered. So rear is a little bit wider than the front. Now we don't need to use the wheel width to get it out. That is what the offset is for. So you can adjust the wheel width so you don't have monkey, absolutely monkey big wheels. Uh, and it looks freaking fat under here. You can actually have it nice and looking good. So there we go. That is how you get it. You do not want the tire to go past the fender. It's kind of a rule of thumb, I guess. You do not want the tire to go past the fender. Now with the track fitment... 
you don't really want to go that low because if you go low, you don't want to rub and stuff like that. It's probably about perfect right there. You can see the fender is right aligned with the uh, very edge of the wheel right there in the front as well. Now, sometimes I like to zero out the camber uh, for cars because when you lower it, it naturally gets camber just for, for the weight of the car uh, shifting down. So usually I like to zero out the camber, just go, um, just go more positive until it goes to look like about zero and then you can call it a day right there i'm liking this right now so this is my little track car right here so you make sure to buy everything because i always forget now setting up for sus your suspension for track fitment uh that's beyond me i haven't figured that out but obviously you want it a little bit stiffer uh so you don't have much body roll through corners so uh turning up the stiffness will probably help with track fitment and uh, track racing a little bit better but uh yeah boys there is the good old v right there this thing is looking good dude nothing too crazy Look at this, boys. Look at that. Fimit is literally on point. Look at that. Maybe poking a tad, but a little bit, little bit of poke would never hurt anybody. Couldn't really get that close to check it out front. It's perfect, though. This thing's sitting real nice. Little to no camber at all, either. Now, sometimes I do like the uh, wheels that are in the track uh, and stance. Or not the track. The, sometimes I do like the wheels that are in the street uh, category, and I want to, like, put it on a stance car, but... That's pretty self-explanatory. Literally just dump it. Literally just dump the V like how you would normally just tuck all of the tire. Now, sometimes the uh, complement does not let you go any further. So that's when you adjust the stiffness. But uh, yeah, so the feminine on this thing kind of sucks. That's actually that's actually not bad. So yeah, now this thing actually looks really good now. Look at that. Yeah, so this is how you can get some good old uh, feminine. Literally just dump it like that. That's pretty good, I think. But I'm going to leave it like this. I think it looks a lot better like that. So that is how you do the uh, good old street slash track feminine. Now, we're going to go over to the good old drag cars. I'm going to show you guys how to make a drag car um, so gonna, with a little drag pack on it. So, this is a drift car, so I am not really going to mess with this too much. Here is what you do. This is just a rear-wheel drive car. You want to go to the drag wheels. This is a rear-wheel drive car, so you want to put the bigger wheel in the back because, as you can see, so as you can see, these don't have a big uh, tire like these do, and uh, the bigger tires are meant for the uh, where the power goes. So, if it's a rear-wheel drive car, you'll put the bigger tire on the rear. If it's a front-wheel drive car, you put the bigger tire on the front because that is where all the power goes. So, what you want to do here is select rear and then i'm just gonna use these for an example and then match it with these now sometimes i mean you don't have to do this obviously you can do it whichever way you want but that is the uh kind of normal way but sometimes i like to leave a uh the stock wheel in the front sometimes if the stock wheels look cool i like to just put a tire on the back um so then you can purchase this and then usually you want a fat tire in the back uh because it is a drag car so obviously it'll poke a little bit so you bring the offset in just right inside of the fender here. Perfect. Perfect meaty fitment. And then there you go in the front. It's just kind of like whatever. I don't usually mess with the front. But uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to return this thing back to stock. I'm going to my stock wheels back on here. Okay, sometimes uh, I, sometimes if you have the stock wheels already on the car, the wheels you want already on the car, you can't really like buy them again. So usually I just go and find the cheapest wheel I can find. Um, I'm pretty sure the cheapest wheel of all time is the, is these so if you want to put your stock wheels back in the car go to off-road buy these wheels for 150 bucks and then you can put all your stock wheels back on and then call it a day or the wheel you want on and uh, yeah call it a day so that is basically how to achieve good fitment on all of your cars now hopefully after this video i will start to see cars with better fitment because whenever i'm in sessions or playing with you guys some of you guys are lacking i cannot lie some of you guys are lacking pretty hard and uh yeah hopefully this video will inform you guys but basically just a little overview of what we all went over here so suspension obviously self-explanatory get a lower on the car call it a day there we go and grow the wheels this is just for uh demonstration demonstration purposes so if you wanted to build a stance car with a lot of lip wheel width all the way up that is just me personally i like having a lot of lip if you guys don't like that you can do whatever you like uh, camber, you can also do whatever you like. I don't like a ton of camber usually, so usually I just do like a little bit. Oh, wow, that's actually money. Oh my gosh, that's actually... Okay, I'm not even meaning to do this intentionally, but that's all, that's like money. That's This is like almost money. Yeah, that's like real good right there. That's real good. So wheel width, I like to have it all the way up to get the biggest lip possible because we don't want weak spec wheels. Yeah, this thing has money on this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing looks low-key really good actually. What? I'm not even trying to make this thing look good. Wheel width, I like to have it all the way up. Wheel size, you can do whatever you want. If you want big old donk wheels, you can make a freaking donk. Uh, you can do that. Camber, whatever you guys like. You can do whatever you want for camber. Whatever you want if you don't like camber. And then offset, obviously, just to uh, fine-tune where it is if you do wheel with long, whatever, all that good jazz. So, hopefully all of this made sense to you guys. I tried to explain it the best I could. Goodness, this thing looks good. I didn't even mean to, like, make it. I think we definitely need some more higher-end wheels in the game. 
a uh, 100%. Like some, these are HREs. I think we only have like one set of HREs, and I think it's these in the game. All right, there's actually two more types of cars that we can build that I want to show you guys how to build properly because sometimes I see you guys walking around doing goofy stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to properly build a truck. So now that we have wheel sizes, we can actually make the trucks look proper because, you know, after lifting them uh, before wheel size, it just looked really weird because the wheels were so small. Uh, let me show you guys, for example, my F-250 here. Look at this thing. This thing actually looks like a truck. It looks proper. The wheels are big enough, and it doesn't, like, take the truck and look weird. Because if you kept the same wheel size, the truck would look very weird. But this thing looks like a freaking truck, if you ask me. So, I will show you guys how to uh, do that. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. Literally, just lift it and uh, make the wheel size just good. But I'm just going to show you guys if you don't know how, or if you want to know how. So, I like to lift it probably i don't know that's probably a good amount right there uh usually when you raise the car it takes the weight up so it adds a little bit more camber so you just want to add a little bit of negative camber until the wheels are basically like flat on the ground basically like flat with the ground basically right there now i'm not going to change the wheels i don't really want to do that but now as you guys can see the wheels look kind of small it looks like really it looks really weird so i usually just make it to where un until i like it until it's big enough and until it looks proper so that looks pretty proper and this is probably a really bad truck to do this on but you guys get the point. But it looks proper. Now, I wish... I didn't buy the camera, I don't think. But I really wish we could adjust uh, wheel size. Like, actual wheel... Si or tire size, I mean. I wish we could adjust tire size itself instead of making the wheels and tires bigger. There is that. And then the last type of build I'm going to be showing, guys, is uh, a donk. Which, I mean, we're in Florida, so... Uh, you would imagine that's... Yeah, it's pretty common. So, I'm going to do a Tesla. Alright, now the best wheels for making a donk V uh are in like suv and truck wheels i i personally like suv wheels so then what you want to do if this is a donk donk is like bigger the wheels are absolutely huge uh so basically that's pretty self-explanatory just wheels up like this some donks they have a, they have their things leaning but usually after that they lift it and then there you go that's your freaking donk now i kind of want to even out the camera a little bit but yeah i'm not going to go too crazy into that but uh yeah, boys, that is how you achieve perfect fitment in all different types of fitments on your car. So hopefully after this video, you guys learned a little bit and you guys can actually uh, start to uh, use these uh, tips and tricks that I showed you guys um, in the game. So have, have you guys start getting better fitment and good looking cars because fitment, I feel like makes or breaks a car. If a car is bad fitment, then it just does not look good. You know, the, the fitment is the money point of a car. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'm reading comments, answer questions if you guys are confused about something. Hopefully, I tried to explain everything as best as I could. Uh, but if not, that's what the comment section for. Leave some questions down below. I'll be answering questions. But, uh, yeah, boys, I appreciate every single one of you for watching this video. I'm about to see you guys next one. See you.